So, so uh, last year of this last year of this session from Jingwei University, we will talk about talk about for the module for the module category algebra. Okay. Uh, thank you for the introduction and uh, thank you for the organizers to invite me to give a talk here. Yeah, uh, this talk is based on a uh, joint work with Pinghe and uh, Binzhu. And uh, we study a geometric model for the module category of uh, skew gentle algebra. So first, I want to explain uh, what is a uh, skew gentle algebra quickly. Uh, first, uh, so a gentle algebra is a finite dimensional algebra given by a quiver with relation uh, such that for each vertex of the quiver, there are at most two arrows in and uh, at most two arrows out. And they form two pairs such that each pair, I mean, uh, such that these pairs uh, form the relation set R. And when we want to go to skew gentle, we just need to replace some squares of loops in the relation set R with the square of the loop minus uh, the loop. So for example, the Hilti algebras of type A or type A tutor are gentle algebras and uh, type D or type D tutor are skewed gentle algebras. Okay, now go to the geometric part. So a puncture mark surface, we mean a triple SMP, where S is a compact oriented surface with non-empty boundary. M is a finite set of uh, Finite, uh, finite, set, uh, finite set of mark points on the boundary of S, and uh, P is a finite set of punctures in the interior of the surface. So just as this as an example. And then we consider curve on the puncture mark surface, which is a curve on the surface, such that its end points are mark points or punctures, and the curve is not homotopy to a point or oh, a boundary segment. These two are not allowed. Then we can consider uh, an admissible partial triangulation of the puncture mark surface, which is a collection of non-crossing curves, such that the set T divides S into regions of the following four types. The first one is a polygon, and second one is a diagon with one marked, unmarked uh, boundary component. And third one is a monogon with one marked, uh, unmarked uh, boundary component. And the first one is a one's puncture monogon. OK, then to each admissible partial triangulation, one can associate a quiver with relation as follows. First, the vertices of the quiver are the curves in the triangulation, uh, sorry, the partial triangulation T. And the arrows of the quiver are the oriented angles of the regions, uh, of the regions uh, shown in the following pictures. So for example, for the polygon, you will have many uh, arrows. And uh, for the diagon, you have two arrows. And for the monogon, it produces one, uh, one arrow. And the relation set RT consists of two parts. The first part is the composition of two arrows such that these two arrows are neighbor angles clockwise in a region of type one or two or three. And for the region of type four, you will see that each one produce, produces an arrow. If you denote it by epsilon, then we add the relation, the square of epsilon minus epsilon. So this was the quiver with relation. Okay, then our first result is that the path algebra of this query with this relation is a skewed gentle algebra. And any skewed gentle algebra is indeed abandoned in this way. Moreover, this algebra is a gentle algebra if and only if the surface is unpunctured. That means the set P is empty. Okay, I want to remark here that the unpunctured case is indeed due to uh, the work of Barr and uh, uh, Sheho Simmers in 2019. Okay, then we want to uh, 
describes the module category of the skew gender algebra. So we introduce the notion of permissible curves. First, we require that the ending segment of a curve, that means the segment of the curve which near an ending point should have the form as shown in the in this line, depending on which regions, which types of the region it lives. And second, if we consider the non-ending segment of the curve, we require that when it crosses some region, it should cut out an angle from the region. That means these two cases are not allowed. And the third one, uh, the curve does not cut out a one's puncture monogon by its uh, self-intersections. And the first, the first one is some technical uh, condition. I, I do not want to explain it in, in detail. Uh, I want to say that the third one and the first one uh, are coming from uh, my earlier joint work with Yu Xiu when we consider or study the class category of puncture mark surface. And the first two indeed are essentially from the work of Barr and uh, Simmers, but uh, the first one is uh, slightly different. Okay. Now we are going to uh, define a, a tagging on a permissible curve. That is a pair where the first one is a permissible curve and the second one is a map which uh, offers each endpoint of gamma, which is a puncture, a value, a value zero or one. Okay, then we can describe the indecomposable module of skewed into algebra. So we show that there is an injective map from the set of tagged permissible curves to the set of indecomposable lambda t modules. And we denote by M gamma kappa the corresponding module to the tag, uh, tagged permissible curve gamma kappa. Moreover, we can show that the image of this map contains all of indecomposable tau rigid modules where tau rigid is by definition uh, satisfies this formula. Okay, uh, after uh, classifying the intercomposable modules, we need to uh, consider how to describe the morphism. So we need to define what is the intersection number between two tagged permissible curves, which is the sum of two parts. The first part is just the ordinary intersection number between two curves except for the endpoints. And the, the second part is about the tagging, uh, which is a number of the points in a set, which consists of the common ending points at puncture of these two curves with different kappa values. And moreover, we need to require that if gamma one is homotopic to gamma two from the endpoint T1 to the other endpoint T1 prime and from T2 to the other endpoint T2 prime. Then we need to uh, require that T1 prime and T2 prime are also a common endpoint in puncture and uh, with different kappa cal uh, values. Then we can show that there is a equality between the intersection number between the uh, Package permissible curves and the sum of dimension of home from the first module, the first corresponding module to the AR translation of the second one, and the dimension of the home from the second one to the AR translation of the first one. Okay, so you will see that this formula shows that uh, our module should be useful to study the so called tau tilting theory. But before that, I want to remark that when lambda is gentle, uh, that is equivalent to that the set P is empty, uh, the corresponding from a curve to a module is, all, is already given uh, in Bar and uh, Seamus' work. So our work can give a formula for their models, which is also uh, related uh, relates the intersection number and the sum of dimension of homes but not that for unpunctured case, because there is no tagging. So the intersection number is uh, just the ordinary definition for intersection number between curves. 
Okay, now we can apply our result to total tilting theory of skew gentle algebra. That is for any skew gentle algebra and uh, for any uh, geometric model for it, we can show that there is a bijection between one set is the set of maximal collections of non-crossing package generalized permissible curves. And the other set is the support total modules, uh, which since a collection R to the direct sum of all of modules corresponding to the target curves in the set R. And uh, here is a new word generalized, where is uh, just a little different from the permissible curves, just we need to add some target curves belonging to the initial partial triangulation T. And uh, finally, uh, some related works which are uh, given by Amil Bruce Lee and uh, Labdini for so uh, sure and uh, uh, well the whistle they talk uh, discussed or uh, study the derived equivalences or derived categories between skew gentle algebras using orbifolds. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>